Right, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more From the Depths. Uh, you, there might be a few questions immediately. Uh, first of all, so, hey, Doug, why do you sound weird? Um, I got COVID, yeah, um, Dad came down with it a few days back. Uh, I suppose it'd be almost about a week now. Um, and we did our best, but I, I came down with it as well. Uh, so, yay, so if I sound... A little low energy, or a bit quiet, or if I'm coughing a lot, uh, which might uh, happen a few times, uh, like a lot more often. Uh, that's why. Uh, the second question you might have is, Doug, what is this magnificent vessel you've been, you've suddenly uh, appeared on? This is a, a work in progress for a heavy cruiser. Uh, I want our, our battleship when we actually get to a battleship to be a really impressive craft. Um, I was kind of struggling with how to, to set the hull up, what sort of like hull form I wanted, and actually just working out how to build it. It's been a while, I was really struggling with it. And I eventually just went, well, I kind of like the double hull design, and I've had a little bit of practice with it now. Like, the first battleship I ever built was a, a double hull like, battleship. And I thought, why not just make that my thing? Why not just make the bigger ships twin hull, or maybe even a tri hull later? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, now, I'm not expected to be using this this episode, or even finishing it this episode. What I'm thinking is... Uh, I'll maybe work on this one a bit between episodes and show it off at times. Uh, just because it's quite a lot larger build. It is quite expensive already. It's already up to 200,000 resources. It's not cheap, although it's not as expensive as some. Uh, in terms of weaponry, we have a work in progress Seawiz turret. Fires 80mm. Yeah, 80mm hollow point shells. So theory on a uh, which also got traces for more accuracy and it fires at 500 RPM. <coughs> Hold on. So in theory on a direct hit of a missile, it should dump quite a bit of damage onto the um onto the shell because with a hollow point kinetic head, it should just um literally put that entire damage into the, the shell that hits it. I might redesign that bit of the uh, manlet. I just realised that's probably exposing a bit of a uh, bit of fire there. And we'll maybe uh, shake that to the flexion, but I'll, uh, I won't spend too long uh, on this here. But again, if I seem a bit distracted uh, or just tired or whatever, that's that's why it's the COVID thing from that I, I just said about. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we've got the the Seawiz gun. That's rapid fire. We've also got yes, we've got um, how many uh, eight. Main guns, they are about 293 mil. Right, 295. They are firing heat rounds. So they should be, they've been quite good in testing. Obviously, I don't have a proper detection system, but they've been quite easily happy, happy to shoot that aircraft. Floats quite nicely. It's much more segmented in here. It's still two block thick hulls. Um, but yeah, so everything's working quite well at the moment in terms of this build. It's nice and stable. No idea what it'll be like when it starts moving. I'm going to put the power plant and AI and things in here. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at. There may be some secondary weapons as well. Big masts. I am considering having a separate AI controlling each set of guns. So that they can engage targets diff separately. But I'm not sure that'll make a difference. I definitely have to set an angle limit on them. At the moment, they could definitely aim too far around. I, I want them to be able to... Maybe like 45 degrees inwards on each other, or like as far as it goes where I don't think they'll be hitting the other gun turret. So maybe up to about, actually yeah, maybe up to about there, they could aim quite far actually. They do have um, fail saves, but they're not always 100% reliable. Uh, but yeah, so that's where we're kind of at at the start of this episode. And yeah, it's been, I, I'm quite enjoying how it's looking so far. It does look quite nice there, quite nice and sleek. However. Oh, we have an actual campaign in uh, progress, so I'm gonna we're gonna jump into it. Now you might also be going, Doug, why are you why are you recording if you're if you're sick? Um I am better than I was. I was a lot worse. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, the twin cruisers, right. Uh the other main thing is uh for those who don't know how YouTube works, uh maybe you, you watch it and you, but you don't create stuff yourself. Uh the algorithms are very random. Uh there is still just a bit of random luck. But um as a general rule um, what's the shot back doing out there? Were they? Oh, they were going to attack the walrus, I think. As a general rule, um, 
if you can keep up like a streak, like if you keep like putting stuff up day after day. What is this? Not the shot back? Oh. I suppose. Um, you'll tend to get better like viewership over time. It'll, it, it basically helps the channel if you keep posting stuff. Oh shoot, I'm in the wrong place. I'm missing the fight. Not that I think it's going to be much of a fight. Yeah, there's a walrus over here. Uh, I think we've already hit it with some of the first volley. No, maybe not. Maybe a little bit, but... Yes, this is a walrus. This looks actually, just about as I remember it, it's basically a container ship. I think, in fact, I think they've actually turned it into a dedicated transport now. I'm not sure if it actually was before, but... Easy target and hopefully loaded with resources to steal. Slow mo. Oh, rip poor wars. Yeah, and it's dead. Gets unloaded. Yeah, I meant to just send in the uh, the wolfback fleet there. <coughs> Alpha strike. Uh, yeah, no, that's fair. So there's outpost. Yes, I guess so. Ideally, we want to sort of loop around there and try to take that stuff. Um. Yeah, shark back. Moving you can go off and take that. Receiving. Main fleet, you can go off and take that. Main fleet two is taking that. That's the two cruisers. The fly trap's taking that. Our balloon. It's going reasonably well at the moment. Okay. Oh, flying squirrel. Oh, don't tell me the flying squirrel's going to engage the shark pack. That fight will go on forever. Receiving. In main out. fleet, you better turn around, because otherwise we're ne that fight's never going to end. The, um... The flying squirrel is an aircraft, basically, is what's going on there. Yeah, we need the main fleet. We cannot afford to engage without them, because we're not going to be able to hit it. Uh, the flying squirrel, in particular, is a very evasive aircraft, because it moves like that. Yeah, <coughs> it's a... Hey, yeah, the Flying Squirrel's a godly rank. Are we getting godly vehicles? I know our difficulty wasn't on the highest, but... <coughs> okay, so we might be getting godly vehicles. I hope there's one guy to close in on our own patrol craft. Receiving. Okay, yeah, pull them out. Receiving. Yeah, I hope we're not getting too many godly uh, vehicles, but yes, that was a godly. Flying squirrel definitely is. Um, our main fleet. Listening. Oh right, they were destroyed. Um, Moving out. Receiving. You can sail around out. to there and take that. Cannot capture. Oh yeah, because we don't have any territory next to it. How many quantity? How many resources do we have up there? Quite a lot. Oh, hang on. Not increasing anymore. Uh, that probably means. <coughs> Oh, again, sorry about this. Um, it's not important to us. Two. That probably means we filled up the containers. We we do not want to be sitting on resources we could be gathering, but are not. Okay, well, let's add a little, like, uh, shelf to it. A little storage rack. Uh... Okay. Oh, yes, we probably had better do that. It's a shrike. What is that? <sighs> 54 meters a second. I have a feeling this is another bad matchup, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a plane. We might have to refit one of these uh, minnows mid battle to actually be able to fight this. Where is the... It's a plane. <laughs> the little helicopter chugging noises. Yeah, they're trying to hit it. 
they're just not going to. Right. Right, we don't have any resources on board to refit this thing. We're good at some resources. I think these submarines in general have a bit of a problem, but... Let's, um... Tell you what. <laughs> it might be kind of stupid. But, um... We need some way to fight that thing. Right, the whole submarine's made of lead. <laughs> it's not a little joke either, it is literally made of lead. It's apparently trying to suck itself down onto the floor. Right, I forgot the um the altitude set up wrong. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. <clears throat> Again bombed. Scrap it, scrap it. We'll scrap the subs. I think the subs are not working very well anyway in general. It's a cute idea, but let's just save our time. We're not going to be able to hit this thing and we're just wasting resources. Yeah. And it's annoying that you can... That we lose so much stuff to things like that, but... I guess if we build a sub, it needs to be able to fight anything to some degree. The Fallen Outpost has got a fair bit of resources on it. Could we build something here? What is going on with this blue? My god. Wow. What is this? I haven't changed any settings. <laughs> oh, pardon me. This is just what this looks like all of a sudden. What am I looking at? Anyway. We probably want at least another... No, not... Those the actual finished ones. Vessel in the area. How many resources do we have nearby? 101,000. Okay, yeah. That should be fine. Actually, do we need it for the moment? Actually, no, we're okay for the moment. Because we've still got the second main fleet down south. Oh. Got a fight going on here. The Vanguard. Teleport me to the cruiser this time. Oh, the Vanguard's got literal sails. Oh, I feel a little bad about this. And it no longer has sails. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that feels a little bad. <laughs> Rip. Oh, dear. Just chugging away in victory. Right. What is this thing? Oh, that's the Shrike from earlier. Okay. Yeah, perhaps that's what we need, actually. I was thinking, what do we... That's what we want for the uh, Fallen Outpost. We want one of, those an one of our anti-aircraft ships, one of our anti-aircraft uh, frigates. Yeah, and we're building. Again, I always, always love watching these things come together. We've definitely got enough resources on board for this, right? I think so. It actually does astound me nowadays how cheap armor is in this game. Like, I know the point is it's the, the weapon components that are expensive, but... It's coming together. Right, yeah, that front gun that's not tremendously good either. Yeah, that's another one we need to refit at some point. Maybe next episode we'll do a bit of building, a bit of refining on our initial designs, perhaps. Maybe make some Mark IIs, I, I don't know quite yet. I said I'm not, I'm not super with it, but I'm just trying to keep up the keep up the streak of uploading, because YouTube likes you to do that. Uh, running out of resources, or is it just being a little slow? No, it's okay. I'm glad if it might be running out. It should have enough parts on board to fully build the ship. No, it doesn't, apparently. There are resources nearby, it's just not necessarily either using them or has access to them. You also have to remember to tell it it's a boat and to use resources. Okay, 
guess we can't yet, maybe until it's finished building. Are we done? No, did we run out of resources again? No, what? How did it stop? Why did it stop? Water mode at your service. Pull all and accelerate. Did it finish? Yeah. Huh. I don't know what happened there. Oh, hang on. A little ship trying to sneak past us there. There you don't. Wendy, what is a grouper? Here's a little airship, okay. Are we even going to be able to hit it? It is behind a mountain. Is it an airship or is that a surface ship? That's an airship, okay. That's what we should probably do some building on. Like, we, we have the a slightly jank one, but we should probably build a proper one. Oh, <laughs> it popped up just high enough over the hill to get caught by all the missiles. Can if the missiles turn out to be some kind of uh, unique ground penetrating type. I wasn't uh, aware we'd develop such shell technology, but I'll take it. From the depths, ground is jank, everybody. Uh, keep this in mind. Oh, what's going on here? Hang on. Oh, is that the. Uh Okay. Another error. Another error. Oh. Somehow doubt those guns are going to hit much, but we can give it some ammunition at least. Oh, it's trying to drop bombs on us. My dude, you're trying to bomb a helicopter. Is our helicopter's railgun actually going to fire? Again. Ooh! Yes, and we actually got a hit! Hey! Good job, buddy. You're the first... First helicopter pilot we've had is actually a good shot. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, yeah, you Listening. can also, speaking of, you Listening. get to move on to the next area. Moving out. Okay, another section captured. Receiving. I'm going to move Receiving. on to what might be a larger fight. Receiving. Uh, trying to attack the Sinner's Outpost and Coyote. Coyote. Neither of these are particularly big, so this should be a reasonably easy one. And we'll set up another harvesting, um, maybe a harvesting base this time rather than a uh, ship. Receiving. Might even just wait until we get to about just past the island and then start the fight. Come. <clears throat> See, was working. Saw those shells to spit. Got a little bit bad for the deep water guard. They don't have any of those. 
What are we looking at? Little, cute little, little wooden ship. I like the logs on the side. That's interesting. Uh, it's just like bumpers uh, or like tires on the side on a, on a pier. Got a couple of cram cannons. Big fuel tank. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, one of the crown guns just went up. But they all did. Wow, that was very fragile. So all missiles not in range. Energy damage happening there. I guess that was the cram sewers again. Ooh, small cannons even. Finally find a target that can actually damage. Very nice. Yeah, I think this one's over. So this, this is all like what I remember the, the start of the campaign being like, like you, you find the deep water guard, you sort of get your footing, you get the hang of everything, it gives you a bit of time to sort of set up and whatnot, the, the, the lightning hoods was, was a little different, but I've taken them on, I'd have needed uh, a little more, I guess, <laughs> deliberate preparation and testing, but I feel like I'm getting a bit more in, back into the game now. And we've had a good string of victories so far. Lost Forest of Erwick. Oh, yes. Yes, we saw things about before, didn't we? Uh, yes. Receiving. Right, you can do this. Just, they are moving reasonably quick. It's just slow. It's a big world, though. If you think this is all in full, is all there, it's a big landscape, actually, to fight on. You can actually make your own planets in this game. It's just a. Uh, a little bit janky. There's a paddle gun. Okay. That's actually a little bit nasty. Yet. Let's engage that straight away. Don't want to get caught off guard by that one. Launching flares, which won't work because my missiles aren't heat guided. I don't think ship to ship missiles are thermal guided anyway, normally. Yeah, she doesn't have missiles, oh, she's firing. Why is this guns aren't firing unless we knock them out really early? Oh no, they are firing. Yeah, I think the uh, magazine for those went up. How are we doing for resources back here? 270,000, okay, so, yeah, so we are still gathering. Ah, we captured it. Okay, excellent. Right, yes. So someone in the comments did mention about um, you can, of course, spawn through from the map, which I, I think I was aware of. I don't know if I maybe said that you couldn't, but by the way, yes. Uh, no, we don't want to have one that we need to bring fuel to. Listening. So I think one of the vehicles nearby had... Um, some destructive equipment on it. Listening. Okay. I'll just play it, make sure it's all working. Yeah, it looks to be. Nearby. Yes, I guess at some point we need maybe to. I think we said about this before, but we need to build a proper. Um, uh, well, as well as a proper base, it's actually our design, we need a, a proper supply ship. So we can actually go out and bring things back. <clears throat> I think for now, we'll start to push into their, into 
their uh, territory. Well, the fly trap going as a scout, but we'll see if they can capture. And main fleet too can come over from the uh, from the south. Ooh. Gerard, ah, this is the one that caused this problem before. Receiving. Excellent, we can get some payback for them. Receiving. Let's see how this uh, Gerard does against uh, two of our cruisers. Find lots of missiles. Oh, and crams, but they've been bounced. Sometimes. Oh, we've lost the turret. That's actually the worst damage any of the cruisers have suffered so far. You know, I'm starting to think this Dorado might have caused us problems because it's a high difficulty ship. It is taking damage, but it has done more damage to us than any of the others so far. Seawiz is not responding, although their missile guidance is a bit random. Oh, yeah, that looked bad. Wow, are we actually going to lose two cruisers to this thing? Is it actually that bad? What is that gun that's firing at us? <coughs> oh, it's like a big 500 mil custom cannon, I think. Oh, man. That's outright bad. If they're actually firing stuff at us now, that's actually probably have to hurt our cruisers. We actually do have a problem. I did not realize these Dorados were that bad. What's still functioning on our ship? Oh. Doesn't help if they run out of ammunition as well, does it? Aim for that gun. Yeah, I think we might just straight up be about to lose two cruisers. Oh, jeez. Maybe the next episode should be about finishing that uh, a larger ship. Perhaps we need it earlier than I thought. We have to get the resources together to build it, though. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're just about to straight up lose two cruisers to this, and that sucks, because these were proven to be quite good ships. But at least do decent damage to it. Sort of. 100,000. Okay, so it was a bigger ship than either of ours, but... It's that big gun, basically. That that big gun is punching through what I thought was quite good armor. Yeah, I think we just lost both. They, they just completely deactivated. Oh, except for that one valiant little anti-aircraft gun. Right. No way to teleport myself up there and man it. Oh, actually, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, hit the mast. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, probably best I jump out so it doesn't along them any more needed and waste resources. Oh, yeah, it's a sinking now. Let's stay by repairs. No, don't, don't. Don't bother about that. We've lost those. Man, okay, so the Doriado is bad news. Well, we might have been able to kill that thing with better missile support, but... We need to at least go back and get those resources. <coughs> Yes, that gun is really nasty on that thing. It's not like we didn't do any damage to it, but not enough to kill it. Okay. We'll treat that fleet to here yet, for now, but we won't rebuild it. 
Where's our fly traps? Could they maybe deal with it potentially? They are airborne at least. It'd be harder to hit. Listening. <coughs> and it is damaged. Moving out. Yeah, let's Moving have the fly out. trap. Try and take it on. It is damaged. It does have quite powerful guns. It was sort of designed to. Moving out. It wasn't quite Moving designed out. to fight this sort of thing, but. Oh, it's faster than us as well, isn't it? No, 30 meters a second. It's not faster than us. It's damaged. Moving out. Moving out. Let's try and intercept this thing. Listening. We're hit with some of that. Yeah, we should be fairly immune to its can of fire because we're a long way off. Have to be a little bit careful of that big gun. I'm hoping our bobbing will keep us safe. I've got to deliberately change our course a little bit every now and then to throw it off. Ah, problem is it throws off our own guns as well. At least our own ones are trying to fight. Sideways, evade. <laughs> right, it's got missiles too. You're gonna need to get that main gun working again real quick. No, that didn't work. I think we failed to uh, intercept on that one. Yeah. Ah, okay, so this thing's nasty. This is our, our problem. What we might even do, since that's about the right time for the end of the episode, we'll maybe end the episode and we'll build a um, a fast attack, um, or a fast airship designed to fight stuff like that. Listening. Yeah, so fly trucks could be destroyed any second. Yeah. We'll save the cabin there. Like I say, we'll come back next time and we shall have a crack at building our own airship that can chase the thing down and take it on. <coughs> Direct, like, ship-to-ship -ship combat airship. Alright, hopefully you've all enjoyed uh, that episode. I'll see you guys all again next time. Bye-bye.